I'm Carl Vine, the Artistic Director of Music Aviva. Each year I devise a musical smorgasbord for the Music Aviva International season that mixes the world's finest musicians with the most brilliant repertoire. In 2010, we welcome back those magnificent Russians, the Borodum Quartet, in programs packed with their homeland and heartland repertoire. The Harp Consort also makes a repeat appearance, this time with an utterly fascinating look at Ireland's most famous Baroque composer, Turlough O'Carolan. British pianist Paul Lewis returns to Music Aviva after a four-year break, this time with a quintessential program of piano classics, including Beethoven's wonderful Waldstein Sonata. Then we get to the wonderful debut appearances. The Pavel Haas Quartet, a dynamic group of 30-somethings from Prague, present their first national Australian tour with a dynamic collection of Czech masterworks. The Artos Trio from Berlin is another young group making its first Music Aviva appearance, playing some of the premier works from the piano trio repertoire. Even younger brilliance arrives with violinist Alina Ibrahimova and pianist Cedric Tabergian. This will be their first appearance in Australia as one of the world's most stunning recital duos. Two thousand and ten will also be the very first time that the choir of Trinity College, Cambridge, has visited Australia. This young, energetic choir has started making waves around the world under director Stephen Layton, and promises stellar concerts of choral classics from the Baroque to today. Among those classics will be some music by our featured composer for two thousand and ten, Paul Stanhope, who will also be providing new works for violin and piano, string quartet and piano trio spread throughout the year. Music Aviva's international season brings you the world's foremost musicians, the best repertoire played by its best proponents, always with some challenge and excitement alongside the reassuring and the familiar. This is the finest range of quality chamber music you will find in Australia in 2010.